This is John Beeth with GoFishMagazine.com and Let's Talk Outdoors. This week it's the fish recipe of the week featuring wahoo. I recently caught this wahoo on my long range tuna fishing trip on the searcher. It was a lot of fun. Some people may know wahoo as ono, O-N-O. In Hawaii that's what they call it and also some of the Polynesian islands. So to cook wahoo it's very dense and you have to remember to cook it thoroughly through. But one of the tricks that I've learned over the years, especially on whitefish, is to soak it in salt solution for about a half an hour to an hour. And I've already done that. After you soak it, you want to make sure that it rests. Rests at room temperature for at least 15 minutes. That way it'll cook more evenly. It won't be so cold in the center. It just makes it much, much easier to cook. And the salt solution makes it a little bit firmer it also takes away some of that fishy taste that some people complain about. But if you take care of your wahoo and cut all the red off of it, it should be pretty good. Now what I'm going to cook today is a very easy recipe. What I've done is I have gone to the store and gotten McCormick's Spice Mix. And this is a garlic, lime, chicken fajita mix. It has minced garlic, minced onions, ground cumin, oregano leaves, cilantro leaves, and black pepper. And the advantage of this is simple. I can open this up and mix it all together. Now I have a very inexpensive rub. Because if you go out and you purchase all of these spices separately, it's going to cost you quite a bit of money. So once I mix these all together, then I'll just use what I need and save the rest for another time. I'm also going to put a little bit of Coca, coconut on top just to give it a little added flavor and toward the end of the recipe I'm going to have some crushed pecan to give it that little bit of crunch. And The way we're going to cook the wahoo today is pan sear it then put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about four minutes. So let's get started. Gotta open these up, mix them all together That smells so good. I love the smell of fresh spices and cumin has such a nice aroma to it. And you can also add a little bit of extra garlic if you've got some in your in your cupboard. So I'll mix all these spices up and that's enough for the one piece of fish that I'm going to do. It's probably enough for maybe doing this recipe twice. So I'm just going to pour a little bit out. Now here is my fish that's been soaking so I'm going to take it over here. And I don't have any salt in this recipe because there's already salt in here. And actually I'll just rinse a little bit off but it's got plenty of salt already in it. So now I'm just going to Get some of this mixture on it. Just a little bit more. All right, that's plenty. Now for the oil, you can use olive oil, but be careful because it burns at a much lower temperature. You could use canola oil, peanut oil if you like that flavor, or you could use butter. So I'm just going to pour this into my my pan that's already heated up on medium to medium high and we're going to sear this. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. this go for a couple of minutes per side. Notice how it's starting to cook up the center.
Oh, that's getting nice and golden brown. And we're going to finish this in the oven again at 400 for about four minutes to make sure it cooks all the way through. See how that cooks down toward the center? And this is a fairly thick piece of Wahoo, so you want to make sure that you cook it all the way through, but you don't overcook it. This is a very dense fish, which requires a little bit more cooking time than, say, a halibut or a lingcod, which is far less dense. I want to make sure that I get it on, on the thick side. That's why I'm turning it up like this on its side to make sure that I get that thoroughly cooked. put it in the oven. I'm going to put a little bit of this coconut on top. And into the oven at 400 for four minutes. Well it's been four minutes. It's time to get the Wahoo out of the oven put the final touches on it. That looks perfect. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this beautiful serving dish that my grandson Justin gave me. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pecans on the bottom here and then a little bit on the top. Here's the final dish. This is a super simple to make recipe for Wahoo. You could also use this for halibut. Just cook it a little bit less time. Notice I've got the pecans on there and the coconut, which just give it that depth of flavor. You might also want to take some of your, your spice blend and put it fresh on top because that'll give it a more uh, depth profile, taste profile. Now let's see what this tastes like. Very dense, delicious fish. Get some of those pecans. Mm. That is delicious. You could also add a little bit of lemon or a little bit of lime on here. Would just give it another little bit of taste profile that I think you might like. For Let's Talk Outdoors and Go Fish Magazine, my name is John Beef. I hope you visit my YouTube channel again. And right here, why don't you subscribe? And next week, I'll have another video on my YouTube channel. Hope you subscribe. Hope you come back. We'll see you next time.